if you'll indulge me, I wanted to speak just for a few minutes about the national picture and thinking about how the national political picture in the UK relates to local issues and the reason why we get out there as activists and campaigners thinking both about the local but also wider issues as well. And I've been reflecting recently on the fact that it's been approximately 45 years since Margaret Thatcher first went into office. Again, you can be pantomime, you're allowed to boo. <laughs> 45 years, and we've had successive governments, both Labour and Conservative, adopting a similar policy agenda and set of values. And they're often bracketed under that label of neoliberal. Now, the thing that really concerns me and concerns a lot of our voters is that we're now all expecting to see a right-wing Labour government return to office as well. So that means potentially a minimum of 50 years, half a century of neoliberal policy. That's half a century of greater social inequality, half a century of declining environmental standards, and half a century of, of anxiety and fear around the effects that climate change might have for all of our lives. Now that has resonances locally as well, because we see as Dan said, we see that social inequality in our streets, in our communities. We see it when we're talking to our neighbours, when we're knocking on doors, when we're hearing from young people who are concerned about their futures. So I'm really, really proud to be standing as a candidate in Donington, a very diverse community and neighbourhood, and I'm proud of everybody here for the work that you're doing on this. When I stood to be a candidate, one of the things I said was that I joined the Green Party and I'm passionate about the Green Party because it provides an alternative to that neoliberal status quo. And we are one of few, perhaps the only political party in the UK that is standing up against those injustices and the effects that that social and economic inequality will have. So, thank you all for being here. There's lots to do, whether it's on challenging period poverty, whether it's on challenging transphobia, whether it's on challenging racism and, and class inequality in our society and in the streets and the doors that we knock on. Uh, there's so much more to be done, and that will be happening at the local level in council decisions that we make, whether it's through making our streets safer uh, please forgive me, but as a criminologist, I have to vent about this one. One of the clear dividing lines between the local Labour candidates in Oxford and us is that tough on crime approach. Again, that neoliberal, Tony Blair inspired vision of tough on crime. And we know one of the things that actually reduces crime and improves safety on streets. Do you all know what it is? That's one of them. Yep. Social justice, that's one of them. Restorative justice, absolutely. So restorative rather than retributive justice. And there's also one more specific thing that does it. Reducing inequality. Reducing inequality, yep. Youth centres. Youth centres, all these things, all these things that we can have a decision over. Community cohesion. Community cohesion. But there's one that you're all missing. LTNs. LTNs, yes. <laughs> Having more people on the streets and out of cars, actually we know from the data improves safety on streets. So rather than having more police and more retributive justice, we can have alternative approaches to improving safety and community cohesion and making sure that we implement those policies in a way that listens to residents around some of the issues that might arise as well. <laughs>